All right, hello everyone. Now it now it actually hey, the game works and our good panther panther here made <coughs> absolutely certain that we first reserve flights for Fluff, so actually had to uh, keep pushing at the KLM webpage, which was very determined that Drawing 301 moved permanently about after every step of interaction, so also in that respect we actually got delayed while this one clicked at uh, web, uh, web uh, reservation portal again and again and getting moved permanently, then finally got all the steps together and actually made it all the way all the way through uh, earlier today as noted on Twitter also also for the bit with the distribution of the game that 2k software had republished at some point and getting image out of it proved a bit difficult at first but we, as we can see we actually now now do get image out of the original release of the game in DOS, so this should work as intended and should also be very interesting because the game is not exactly the most player-friendly one, even if it uh, by a bug de defaults after first mission to the easiest difficulty, it's not still exactly easy. Oh, hello there Briareos, great to see you, you also, as everyone else who has joined our fine, fine way of failing failing. Uh, yes, going to play at least as much as uh, do make it through each game, because actually finishing any of the XCOM games is... Uh, have not ever finished any XCOM game, even when uh, in the period had had the original XCOM and Terror from the Deep. Do faintly remember that we made it with friends all the way to the final mission in the first one where you go go and try to destroy the alien alien base elsewhere in the solar system, but uh, we never won that mission, do think, and played Terror from the Deep also in the period quite a bit, and do think made it some way through the game, but we do not, uh, do not think that this one is going to finish any of the XCOM games, but going to play all XCOM games on stream, even if most probably won't be winning, winning or even coming close to winning any of them, considering the level of difficulty and the amount of luck and or very specific strategies required to actually succeed in them. So, in that respect, yes, we are going to... Yeah, it's, it's exactly so, it's really hard, hard game overall. Did shortly look at a strategy strategy guide guide today and noticed that yes, uh, many of them actually recommend what practically amounts to not playing very fairly because quite a few of the strategy guide uh, guides actually recommend saves coming to uh, alien alien encounters so that you save until you get good random numbers and keep reloading, which do not consider really fair way to play the game. So in that respect, actually many of the guides and apparently many of the high-end players are playing the game, uh, one might say, wrong in someone's opinion, but yes, we are going to play XCOM and see where we end, end up at tonight, playing maybe a couple of hours, need to cycle, cycle to work in the morning, so doing probably until around one or slightly after and then sleep, so we will see where we end up at, and certainly there will be action. So, we uh, we even have the game working, so let's move, move towards the game and see what happens, and again, welcome every fur, and it seems we do have pretty good viewership even, so very thankful for that, as this was voted for a lot, so was was also hoping that some some actually joined to also watch the watch the stress over does someone panic and blow up the wall wall sur wall 
vicinity with a rocket launcher or such. Then do also remember that in Terror from the Deep you had the weapons that actually worked only underwater, which was even worse, like back them on a terror mission and then you then you actually can't even shoot those uh, on the shore, so at least this is a bit easier in certain respects than Terror from the Deep, which uh, they made even more difficult. So let's then return to the game here and we of course start a new game. And we certainly are not choosing any higher, higher uh, difficulty level, having played this the previous time in, like, more than 10 years ago. And then we need to suicide for new base, it depends a bit. But usually, do faintly remember that it was useful, because here we don't care about the uh, sea actually at all, and we want to shoot the UFOs down on land, so that we can actually get uh, get, the, get the crash sites and benefit from the items we can salvage from there, so in that respect it should be so that we can monitor much of, much of Eurasia from there, so it would be good idea to put it, put it pretty much mid-continent, and then we, we of course name it Eurasia, so we have, and then we immediately save the game, so that we, we have kind of like a clean baseline, baseline from the January, it's usually recommendable to save, save game around end of every month, so if there are issues next month you can reload and continue at least from there, because not always the game itself is totally reliable and practically the alien missions are uh, scheduled at each beginning of the month, so in that respect it's also also usually a good policy to save around the end of the month. And then of course one issue is that the default base layout is not very defensible. In, in overall, because we know that uh, they will be, well, once we get a base of assault, we will get assaulted through the access lift and the hangars, and now here is the default layout is pretty much the worst possible, because there is no choke point between the hangars and the uh, access, access lift, so practically you are stuck defending every room, which would be that the hangars should be most probably up here, so that you actually actually get some kind of, then there should be the access lift, and then there should be some type of choke point, so that you actually can defend. Currently we most probably should build, facility-wise we should actually build large radar system to have more detection range, and as far as I remember correctly, the game actually has an issue that you only get benefit from one small radar, one large radar, and once you get one hyperwave uh, decoder. But uh, you, the manual uh, prominently claims that you get extra benefit for building more radars, but as far as no, this is not the case, but actually it's one large radar one small radar, and further, further ones give no additional benefit. Alright, and 800,000 we, we do still have the... And we are going to build it here, because if we are going to move the hangars later upwards to have more defensible layout, then we should most probably start like trying to change the layout, so we get the hangars in more defensible position, but that's not the uh, yet the main, main issue, let's see, like, hangar is only 200,000 unlike the last radar, so we should certainly build hangars here so that we 
have hangers in place and then once we have hangers here we can demolish these and then make more of a choke point here so that we are not practically defending because this is pretty much the worst base layout you, you have because they can attack through access lift and the hangers and then you have to access lift and the hangers distributed nicely so you will be attacked from all directions all right yes we can turn the game volume volume up a bit certainly all right we are a few few dbs higher Let's see how lo loud consoling tones we get, so... Because do remember the buttons make pretty loud, loud noise in... Alright, and this should take care of the first, first issues with the base. We, we do have everything else pretty much in place, of course we need... Do not think we actually yet have alien containment. We should construct alien containment, so... Yes, which is pretty important once we start getting actually any aliens captured we should have alien containment in place so we do not have problems storing storing and making use of the alien uh, aliens alien bodies live aliens we have captured so right this looks looks better then we should also we have we did some extra work let's Save, save the game again and now we should then start research and manufacture and such so usually it's a good idea to research medikit pretty early because apparently the XCOM has almost no uh, field medic capability you can't really like any injury you can't take care unless you First research the medikit, so we certainly research the medikit and put all the 10 scientists currently to that. We should also consider hiring more pretty soon. And let's see if we have anything actually useful to manufacture currently. Not, not exactly. Mostly purchases because we are still using equipment from the open open market market in that sense because it's all all uh, from from actual actual like earth-based technology only so we have nothing to manufacture yet and we should see we can recruit more soldiers scientists engineers mostly scientists are useful at this point like Recruit a few more and then Unless we have stun rods already we should also buy those Let's buy a few more in any cases. It's pretty important to have stun rods available so you can stun, stun the uh, aliens and capture them live preferably and then uh, we need to see what, what ammunition and other equipment we currently have so and we do have starting starting soldiers let's see like what are their statistics especially how good Kevin McNeil has Bravery 20 and Reactions 33, which is already... Later on the Psy capability becomes really important, but... Here yeah, it seems more or less that... We... Should... At least those will have very low reactions, because you can't really even get reaction shots. Unless, unless your reactions are above 40 or something because your reactions will improve only by getting reaction shots and you won't get any reaction shots if your reactions are too low and then your reactions never develop so it's kind of 
yes, you can name the soldiers in the game. Game it was quite popular back in the day to name them name them after the guys at school or something. You can name the soldiers soldiers in the game. It was one of the do you think the kind of uh, kind of like catches in the game that you would name name the soldiers and then connect a bit more with them, which worked worked probably pretty well. The problem is that you get random statistics, so we should most probably recruit a few more and see if we get better reactions. The reactions matter a lot in the beginning, but uh, later on it's especially the Psi, psi capability. Let's see how full our living quarters are. Facility in use, yes, but was interested. Yes, there's still some space in the living quarters. Alright, so we should sooner or later build additional living quarters. 400,000, so it's kind of... If we were up to 37 and are recruiting 9 people, well, that's still enough, so it's only 16 days to build, so we are not building living quarters quite yet. Alright, and we have spent 10 minutes real time and pretty much done all the starting, starting things, so let's update the save and then we can put the time move a bit faster and wait for our first detection so we get to get to intercept intercept uh, yes we can <laughs> that's certainly a fair request <laughs> some some put even like quite a few things that way usually usually have refrained from especially in this kind of games because you tend to go through a lot and we give of course the guy with best reactions to honor us. It's pretty much reactions and bravery that matter and clearly Mr. King is our best best soldier pretty much on the early early game measures and there we go. As as per request now now we do have now we do have a name name in place and uh, it's probably the best guy actually actually of this far because he's he has pretty good reactions quite high bravery and those are pretty much the first things that matter oh thank you for the bits really appreciated you you of course also get get no noticed noticed for that. Oh thank you for the for the attention and of course always appreciate the support. So thank you once again and then we then we move move further further now that we have we are ready to proceed time wise also there we go and then let's update the save so the name name is not forgotten about let's already use another Lot also we have nicely 10 save games now we can again move time a bit faster so that if we get any UFO sightings we seems our base base is located in Iran Central Asia you say at least uh, no further national borders are shown above Tehran. Right. And 
Yeah, we, yeah, we go. Then we wait that we actually detect something on the radar. At least we have currently only the small, small radar. All right, here's our first UFO sighting. So center on UFO time five seconds and then faintly remember that we should. somehow intercept that, so first of all send out interceptor, do believe they have missiles. So we select, hopefully correctly, the UFO, yes, target UFO 1, and then we wait for intercept. If, uh, yes, there's our, all right, didn't, most probably, yeah, they do have missiles, good, let's return to base and refuel and see if we can catch another one. It's also interesting that in the original game manual they actually say that uh, the Japanese found it their own anti-alien team operated it five months and inter didn't intercept a single UFO, which is unbe unbelievable uh, uh, in the comparative sense that in the first few days of the game time you will already most probably have a successful intercept, unlike our good Japanese tried five months according to the manual without successful intercept, so would consider that mildly questionable claim right and let's again go a bit faster and see when we get next blip on the radar. Also the rotation period of the radar is really slow uh, compared to most actual radars because the manual states read the manual actually earlier today so have the authentic experience of having read the period manual it actually says that the XCOM radars have rotation period of 10 minutes, which is very long for most raiders. Right, we have stun rods and we should add those to the complement of the pick with craft and especially here. So we should add, we have like normal pistols, rifles, heavy cannon. And we do have one heavy cannon on board, grenade, and stun rods, good. Smoke grenades, we certainly should have smoke grenades. Normal grenades, we already have enough, and they are anyway quite painful. The auto cannon rocket launcher, kind of considering what kind of damage you usually do with these, leaving them for now. And good. Then we can again wait. To still some time before we get the big radar radar in place. And we now have now have done stun rods. So let's wait again and see if we get anything on the radar. Yeah, you you think they are like the best soldiers on earth, and uh, they are rookies. They are like total, total rookies, which is unbelievable. You think that like, oh, hello there, Wild Swipes. Great to, great to have you here for when we try to intercept UFOs, and this far haven't had much luck, so thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, especially early on when you haven't really developed the accuracy. Uh, they, they shoot a lot and uh, most of the time they miss. So that's very good description of it. 
they indeed suit like stormtroopers. Alright, and let's again speed up time a bit and wait for next blip on the radar. Also most probably saving saving here here so we we have we have uh, here the equipment defined a bit on the uh, transport and then we hope for some activity as this far we haven't been very successful the only chance of intercept didn't really succeed it also usually pays off to only go on away mission in daytime because then you then you actually have have a daylight and it's much better than operating in the dark All right, and we have five new scientists and some new soldiers, so let's set up. We can now add some more workers for the fancy development of the medikit. We can also check out how our new new soldiers look like, so let's also inspect that so we have some new new guys here 55 not bad a bit low bravery but uh, yeah Reactions of 55 are pretty nice. Uh, and also, we should probably later consider another transport. Not like such big differences yet that we would switch, switch them. Switch them yet as far as the consists of the transport go. And then we wait. And our radar is still 20 days. Not much UFO activity detected, of course, with the small radar and mid-continent. It will be somewhat uphill battle, but also we are getting the base structures gradually progress. So that also helps. Alright, small UFO. There we are, and intercept, please. Let's see how our intercept goes. There comes our interceptor. We are above land, so we are not going to shoot it down into the sea. And yes, first. Let's approach quite all right. Outrunning interceptor, let's see if we catch it again. At least we exchanged some fire.
Yeah, the UFO has higher performance than the interceptor, so it's kind of like we most probably will run out of fuel. Alright, we got the UFO again. Let's again attack. And once again, let's see if we catch the UFO again. Most probably not. Ah, landed. So we actually get to get to do yep and this is where we save because practically it will be a difficult mission as uh, it lands on its own volition it will have more live aliens so first away and we then send out Send out the transport. Let's see if the UFO takes up. Fortunately, our interceptor. Yeah, it does, Ragabas. You are right. Let's see. This is worth a try. We saved exactly before mission because this will be interesting. Let's see if we get there before it takes up. So here comes our transport with troop. And the UFO stays down. It's fortunately only a small one, so... Not easy, but it's worth a try, because we saved, saved before it, and... It would yield even more resources, as we have a totally intact UFO. It's very possible we all die, but... Mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. Recovery of the UFO artifacts and alien corpses can then be initiated. So about the mission return to XCOM transport. Click on about mission, yes. And then we move to the tactical, let's see if the, yes, the capture stays good, so everything actually works, which is nice, nice to see. And then we equip, so we do have... Mostly do think the stun, stun rods, yes. And we should take for some, some the stun rods, so we are able to stun, stun aliens, should we thus desire. And we have only regular, regular rifles, because we haven't actually developed any fancier weapon yet. We also have a couple of normal pistols, but most probably we are not going to run out of ammunition. And here we have the heavy weapon sky, which is concerning always, because you usually get into trouble with panic with the heavy weapons. And here we go. Alright. And let's put movement, movement mode to reserve movement points for uh, quick, quick shot. And then try to, yes, there we go. Movement points reserved for auto, auto shot.
Yeah, do think there was some difference on that, but didn't really read read very carefully on on those because it's like their their strategy guide was like probably 200 pages long, so didn't really read read up exactly on what would be the optimal item position or such. Mostly the general details as used to play this a lot, so that get some impression of how the game game was. So we are somewhere in beautiful countryside in India or somewhere. And try to at least spread out a bit. Of course at this point the uh, aliens shouldn't have like plaster or whatever, the really big weaponry either, so this isn't probably going to be absolute pain, but we'll see. Now we at least can fire in most directions. And our good Bergano is standing here ready, ready with the rifle. Did we give them? Yes, they also have the stun rod. So, and we finish, yeah, usually the first few have like only the, uh, whatever, like the small plasma, plasma pistol or such. Let's finish turn and see, clearly the, a lot of hidden movements. And that's, is that even the edge of the map? Let's see. Yes. That's uh, apparently the edge of the... Edge of the map, actually. So, our <laughs> exit ramp is exactly in the worst, worst possible direction. So, let's face the action. Great, like... Let's put our exit ramp towards the edge of the map. And he actually walked walked back to the transport. Not quite, quite what intended. Oh well. And let's again set this for. Apparently, you have to also remember to set that every turn. Oh well. And that turn wasn't very effective as we detected. Our <laughs> exit ramp is facing the. Facing the. Let's now move, move this guy back out. Thank you. Our exit ramp is facing the edge of the map for excellent results. Yeah, there's the UFO. So now we know to face that as the aliens most probably will be. Coming from that direction. And Bergano also shall move. Move by the hedge hedge row. All right. Let's 
There's also a house next next to the UFO. Right, and our heavy weapon sky already run out of movement points. Alright, we are done. Time unit wise here. Turn. Turn movement, yes. So let's approach the UFO from this side. There's no door here, so it's less probable to find aliens here around the corner of the house. Right, and around the first corner of the UFO. And then start reserving movement points, as more probable that we encounter actual resistance here. That's a pretty good position by the corner of the house, alright. Then we move the other side. By the field. Also Percano should move move here a bit to the side of the field. Still, yeah, this guy is again in the transport. All right, I'm sure how we again ended. Yeah, they fire a bit more precisely when kneeled. It helps if you know you have something to shoot at, but as we are still in the phase where we haven't spotted anything, it's kind of... Hello there, Kamu. Great to see you. It's kind of uh, uh, only semi-useful, as we do not have anything to shoot at currently. If we would have spotted something like any of the turns, uh, we would be putting more... Yeah, it's a very nice older game. We would be putting more effort into kneeling for more precise fire. Also kind of hoping some of the aliens would bother to show up, like we are just walking. Let's move first, actually the guy who had forgotten himself into the transport, so he Catches up with team on this side. At least a bit. Do not think he really needs. Let's move him all the way we can, not saving movement points, so he mostly catches up. There we go. Then return mode so that we leave. Movement points for snapshot. Right, this corner is already getting more interesting. Right, it's good to have auto shot at that corner. H 
heavy also could move that far. There we go. And then the other side still moving by the side of the field, so the UFO door is facing exactly away from the door of our tabled around the corner. somewhere in the general direction. Also the aliens seem to be shooting quite like stormtroopers. <laughs> we saw some shots fly. Some shots came from this direction, so we should actually investigate carefully. Not at least yet spotting anything. All right. All right, Tess. Did we spot the shooter? Nope. Only saw the saw the shots, so let's go by the corner. Move the heavy here. seeing some shots fired. The other side, let's round the corner now. Alright, this corner will be one that requires support. The corner with the UFO door. Kano also moves here with the auto so ready, so should we actually spot an alien which has been this far quite like they have been taking pot shots at us. So also this guy has really low movement compared to the others because he keeps getting stuck in the field while while like moving moving out. Oh well. So how how has the bat been? So fancy fancy pictures from the Mediterranean cruise. So hopefully that was a very good occasion. Also uh, also 
since returning returning home home so went went well all together this one hope and then we finish turn and see how much random fire we get all right we break the house wall the overall quality of the alien fire has been very limited if we spotted some of them we might even shoot back <laughs> like yeah some are clearly in the house because they shot out the corner of the house Right, this would be the heavy, heavy weapons guy. Let's see if we can put them like at the corner and one further so we should see. Here we could actually try to try to see if we can spot the shooter enter the house. Yes. Forty eight time units for aim shot. We have thirty five left, so we could try. Like it does show it, but apparently not yet visible enough to... Ah, there it is, so... Let's see how, how well we... We hit something. This is uh, firefights in this game, so. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get. Can we shoot through the window? Would be useful. Apparently, we. Can't actually shoot through the window, so... It would be kind of useful if you could shoot through the window, so let's... Right, we ran out of movement points, so... We wait, wait for their move here, in turn we are trying to assault the UFO itself, so we should move so that we can support each other. Actually the door of the UFO is there. Mildly, mildly confused because thought it would be on that side. confused because that's not the door side let's keep moving and then we have the really slow guy on the field. It's not that side, it's then this side. Apparently not as 
do think you could enter, enter it, so let's then move around it. Now there should be some shooting. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Let's see. All right, now we now we found the door. That didn't go very well, but we also got one alien down, so. So it actually had one square door. Now we know. All right, and how is our good companion doing? Corpse. And of course the heavy weapons sky, so... Let's then... Wrong ammunition. Yeah... As that's the door, let's turn around here and see if we get lucky with anyone exiting and keep moving here. All right, now we see someone and have only the pistol. And which square would that even be? That's actually quite far. <coughs> Aimed shots with the pistol. Recommended. So auto shot with the rifle. Alright. Considering the distance we are shooting at, how can this be so difficult? <laughs> really? At least we could retreat a bit. Now, Pergano, per can you do it? <laughs> like, uh, yes, 40. So we can, and uh, aim shot would take 48, it's really high. So let's take more snapshots. Like we are shooting at alien only this far and... Yes! Yeah, there is still alien in the barn, I'm aware. Bergano, you actually did it. So now we at least have some measure of success and we are going to leave rest of movement points for snapshots if we ever get any reaction shots. And then we still have the alien in the barn. I'm aware of that, but we are looking at the door because uh, the alien in the barn also now has to shoot at the barn walls. So we are going to see if anyone exits the door and if they come from the barn and or 
shoot more barn walls down because now there's no line of fire directly as far as can see. There shouldn't be a line of fire so we are going to uh, stop this turn here and see if anyone exits the UFO. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember how to throw grenades but it's true that can also throw grenades. Let's see if we could throw some grenades next turn. That didn't quite work as expected. Got no reaction shots at all. <laughs> what? At least faintly remembered you would get reaction shots in that situation. Really? Oh well, it's anyway it's a learning experience as have played the game the previous time very long ago. Do we get a reaction shot if we just walk in? At least the guy in the barn does. Would imagine a snapshot would be enough at point blank distance. There we go. <laughs> yeah, what are reaction shots? Like the alien comes out, shoots f three or four times at the other guy and then nothing happens. Now he in turn succeeded at shooting shooting one alien, so let's stop by the corner and move more next turn. Alright, we have auto shot, so... And here we have actually no movement points at all, and there's still the alien in the barn, have not forgotten. We need to at some point bother. We could have used a stun rod, but do think that this guy had no stun rod, no. Remembered correctly. Then we gradually move up from here and try to maybe take care of the guy in the barn once we get that far. Some in the strategy guides were even of the level that they would actually every time load the game if they lost lost one operative and certainly not quite going that far because it's like uh, the game is quite disastrous in general all right and let's see we will probably get more fire from the barn at least <laughs> Alright, let's move to the corner and see if we can see, especially the guy from the barn. Not at this time. And... Barn tactics. That was not quite what wanted to do, but clicked the wrong square. Let's move here around the corner. All right, and we have 28 movement points, so. Uh, let's reserve for auto shot and face the door. Or not. And 
then we still try to solve the problem in the barn, but also would like support into the UFO, so let's let's do the alright. Let's move to the corner of the barn or thereabouts. Still interested in the barn, alright, we get auto shot here, should be useful as long as they actually bother to react. And Bergano should move probably to the corner of the UFO and we have auto shot, so finish turn. Yes, this is the first, first uh, XCOM game, it was known as U UFO Enemy Unknown in Europe. And then we have again long distance fire. Alright, and now we blast through the door. As and had absolutely no luck. Ah, hello there, Riley. We are more or less failing in XCOM. Let's see if we can see the barn shooter. Still can't see them, but they can shoot quite a bit. Let's move one square. And move behind the hay bale. Yeah, now we see it. And 41 is too much, so... Really? Alright, now we can at least see it so we can shoot even more. And now we are fancy and take an aimed shot. Alright, that down the alien, so now we can get into more trouble in the UFO. Let's see if we can have auto shot and go to the corner of the UFO. Let's try to be strategic with the UFO, so position ourselves to the entrance with auto shots in a place, and here we already were out of movement points, yes, and that's pretty much what we have left. Let's see, and there's somebody still in the barn. And also somebody in the UFO, so... Let's move, move into the barn with a bit more forces. Prefer to have the auto shot, so... Can we move? behind the next hay bale. <laughs> Alright, and we have auto shot. Then we have the situation in the UFO. Let's try the other corner, because the other one was so nice. Alright, and we stand by the door and have auto shot. Let's move both there and see if we would succeed at Getting a reaction shot finally as we have movement points left. Alright. Shoot down the bone wall and everything. 
Yeah, there probably are two aliens left, but they are kind of like would call the situation quite demanding like. Right, let's go through the door again. Good. Was it possible to simply change the way they are facing? Let's see if we move a bit, will we see the shooter like move next to this wall and try to spot the shooter? Nope. So we have next wall here. And we spotted the shooter good. And we probably can only do snapshots. That's an alright distance for really good shot and we have like one or oh, a few time units too little for that so we actually don't think we can we can throw the weapon yeah we do not have enough time units so we actually got stuck there usual here we are waiting for someone to come out would like him to face the other way, but do not know how. Other click walk. Other looks at that direction. All right. Yes, that helped a bit. Somehow unsure still if we get any reaction shots, but now we have the right direction for that. Could they bother to come out? And they missed. Yes. A lot of plasma misses, thank you. Now we have the luxury of aimed shot. That's a corner. Excellent. And now we can start to return to the UFO. And then we again have the problem. Do we dare to open the door? Not yet. I'm going to wait one door and see one uh, turn and see if we ever get the reaction shots. At least we got rid of that alien. So let's walk to the UFO and see if there is any other activity. Alright, we are. Let's go to the corner and wait if there are more come through the door. Finally the reaction shots worked. And actually we got OK rating, well, seven aliens killed and we actually lost five, but it's only minus 100 points, so we recruit more soldiers. So actually this was 
pretty alright mission. We got UFO power source, UFO navigation, alien alloys and elearium. So actually, <laughs> despite... And Perkano survived! <laughs> so despite this tends to be the case with XCOM that you get a lot of rookie shot. And we had reaction shots aplenty. It was funny, this one's first try at the reaction shots was like... Why are they not shooting? Why are they not shooting? Yay, this one even raises paw, paw to that, because that was actually on the... XCOM terms, that was good enough. So we are going to, we already have a few soldiers recruited and we need a few more, so we are going to recruit more and just get them uh, equipped as it's kind of... And Bergano, you got a promotion! <laughs> so, actually that went really well for Bergano. <laughs> Of course, we chose pretty much the best soldier also, because it had the best reactions, and at this point in the game you pretty much live by reactions. As, as we noticed, the reaction shots the first time, like what reaction shots? We, we position them carefully, alien comes out and shoots four plasma, and we have no hope, like really. And we... Save, save here, certainly, so... First, first done. So we can consider, consider then where to continue, as usual, with this level of game difficulty. And we are building the radar. And we are still building the alien containment, so we can't quite yet research any alien alien finds in any case. So it's kind of problematic as it anyway takes some time to build. So the first ones only, only. And let's see how our core. We would actually we have more laboratory space, and we have still more funds, so we should also uh, acquire more. Scientists, we should also acquire maybe four more, four more soldiers. Let's first check the living quarters situation. Do we need more living quarters? 32, so we have space for if we get... And it's up to 50, so we can get five soldiers more and... So we have... We should get a few more, so we can get actually everyone, even these became squaddies, so promotions are plenty. We should most probably recruit at least five soldiers more, so we have a bit of choice of reactions, which we even die by, and we again recruit also ten scientists more, and that should still fit within the living quarters. Then we of course add crew to the... Alright, we have to wait for it to return. And we should be now also able to research. Yes, we can research the... We can research all the alien weapons also, so we have plenty of research to do once we have more researches and laboratories, so this pretty much started the game, that we can research the... pretty much everything, everything from the UFO, so that was very good. And... Then we wait for Kraft to return to base. Yeah, that's the in the uh, that's the yeah that's the uh, transport. It's pretty slow comparatively. And 
there we go. Our transport is also ready and we can then equip craft. Do we still have Yes, we do still have the equipment there, so we didn't lose any of the equipment we had had with the, also the dead dead guys. And let's for now wait for. So we have mostly complete complement here. And all right, thirty percent damage. Fortunately, interceptors repair quite a bit faster. And how many missiles do we have? still have. The cannon is kind of questionable, at least the uh, common wisdom, wisdom tended to be to use just missiles. Let's try also the avalanche missiles, so we have missiles in the, in the other in the interceptor. All right. And our radar, radar and alien containment is also being built. So we save on the non-away, non-away slot. And let's see in terms of uh, funding, we are not yet have not lost any funding, but it's of course one of the problems that once we have enough money, we need to build uh, at least a couple of more bases to properly protect most countries. So they hopefully keep funding XCOM, which is, which is the other issue that then countries got funding if you do not defend them enough and or they otherwise just happen to be displeased. So let's wait for more scientists to arrive preferably. Yeah, there's no Finland, actually. There's like only pretty big countries like Egypt uh, or Nigeria or among the smaller ones here. There's no Finland. And the terror from the deep has like futuristic countries, only really much kind of like Icelandic uh, cooperative or whatever. Finland would of course probably fund XCOM very strongly. Most important fundees of course are like USA, Russia, UK, France, Germany, and then pretty much the rest, and Japan, which is of course also quite important with half a million. So let's wait for scientists to arrive so we can maybe at some point develop a medikit. Which would be nice in the case that our operative doesn't directly turn to a corpse. And do we still have poor progress also like... Poor, yeah. Oh well, let's wait for wait for scientists and other recru soldier recruits to arrive next. Do not 
think you could get funding lowered by doing too well as far as remember. Unsure though, there might be even such a nice functionality considering how nicely the game in general treats the player. Right, uh, our additional recruits still in transit. Would think so. Progress is still poor, but we are at least soon getting some facilities finished, so. Let's. Alright, now we get more. More soldiers, and also we can now see about more more scientists. Great. Average. Now we are slowly even developing the medikit. <laughs> and how is our living quarter situation? All right. Now we build another living quarters. There we go. All right, and now let's see about soldiers. So we forty-seven. That's all right. Reactions and really, that's like bravery ten. Thank you. <laughs> Would almost sack him immediately. Like bravery ten, really. All right, thirty-two kind of low reactions, but this is already one of the... And here's Perkano, who, who of course has already had two, two kills. This boat had two kills. And... Secret Heinz. Uh, 35 kind of middling reactions. All right, here's a pretty good guy. 52 reactions and 60 bravery. Quite low health, so 26, but it is what it is. He's otherwise actually quite, quite good. So he's most probably going on missions. Bravery 20. Again, but 53 reactions, so... Our oh, Rudy is also worth it. 55, nice. He's already... 60, that's, that's great. And he's already on the... We should replace Marielle most probably with... Rudy and also Marcel is very desirable. Yeah, then bravery is not good because they will lose morale so easily. <laughs> Would almost sack him immediately. All right, good night, Briareas, and it was great seeing you. Hopefully, you enjoyed some <laughs> some XCOM fighting, which actually was successful enough. We got good amount of alien artifacts to research and. New soldiers are cheap, and Perkano got a promotion, and of course, if anywhere else wants wants their own own possibly short-lived soldier to be included, feel free to mention in the chat, and we will name more of the better guys, like with some reactions and bravery. So, we didn't really like... Didn't really like Marielle and Rudy was much better. 
this guy we didn't really like. Marcel do think we like, let's see. What is our situation now? This is already like would possibly sack him like 10 bravery. And we have 40, 32 reactions, Mr. Okape, so... Marcel was added to the consist as was Rudy, who has high reactions, but Grant, 36 reactions, which is kind of middling. Reactions, 30. Firing accuracy 70 actually here, so considering the firing accuracy we should replace probably. Kind of will probably replace the other way around, though higher reactions, kind of low, low bravery. Alright, what name would you like, Mr. Swipes? Ten bravery soldier, yes, you can. <laughs> then we have to take you, take you on the mission also, so. <laughs> then you are along, and you most probably will panic. You are in. <laughs> and for wild swipes, we are choosing one of the better guys, so... Here we have 60 bravery and 52 reactions. So he's he's going to be wild swipes. There we go. So and we have to of course now have Briarius along our good guy ten ten bravery because we can't of course this is for fun so we can't leave leave our good named soldier without a spot in the ship so uh, we are again going to get rid of most probably Rudy because and there we go we have eight how much space do we actually have on the sky ranger we can actually if we do not add tanks we can add a few more so Marcel has a very high uh, accuracy and we are certainly because we can 12 would be even better so all 12 of course because as long as we take less equipment and no tanks for now we all right hello there Eurekar 2, you of course get get named. Great, great to have you here. First time. First time, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we have we have like three areas, ten bravery, and welcome to the stream. Great to have you have you here. So let's name a bit more so now all our borders we have space and then we can 
let's change this as was said to Mr. Mr. Swipes. Mr. Swipes it is, and we have of course our 10 bravery free areas and let's then see for Eurekar 2, let's see like one of the better better guys. 52 reactions we chose well for Mr. Swipes and here we Here we have quite high reactions. So there we go. And Sult becomes mixedly. Alright. That's tech nice. There we go. We have named soldiers even. Nice. And let's see. Uh, mostly interested now in research situation and we need to build new living quarters before we can hire much more so let's again save in the normal normal non away slot as we have done all the namings and everything and now we wait for things to be finished and or activity so we get to shoot down shoot down stuff Considering the time we are not going for the next tactical mission yet tonight, but we'll finish uh, once uh, a couple of hours or so as need to wake up early and cycle to work, so we continue with the strategic view and the next tactical mission will be in the next session, but thank you for all the named soldiers and happy to have you aboard, including our good bunny with 10 bravery. We will be just fine. Alright, and we did develop Vedikit. And now we actually can research something that is actually useful, namely Plasma Rifle, which is pretty much the most important weapon early in the game, that you have the Plasma Rifle available. As the plasma rifle is one of the first weapons that can put out most aliens. We can now produce medikit, yes please. Pretty much everyone should have a medikit, so... Let's produce at least 10 units to start with. Good. Also our fund situation this month wouldn't allow much else. How our base structures doing alien containment will be ready soon so we can start the game proper as we can then capture and actually store store aliens for research. Let's see how our plasma rifle is progressing unknown still and we have three space only left in the living quarters but to consider all things considered we could recruit three scientists more more for a bit faster availability of the plasma rifle All right, we get to ground. Hmm. Let's send an interceptor over. Not going for. Uh, now, if could see the. There it is. So it's in Turkey. Let's see if it takes off. Let's again save here in. UFO detect and then we can make choice we most probably going to send over on interceptor and see if they take off so we can shoot them down not currently tonight at least not going for tactical mission so let's send a patrol interceptor over and see if they take off we can then shoot them down Alright.
attack. Alright, we got the UFO to Crashland, so... We shot the UFO down, now we could do the mission. Yeah, it took quite a few hits, now we could take the mission for the grasslanded small UFO, so we have the UFO grass site now on the map for a while, and it stays long enough that we can take that in the daytime, so we could consider, consider also mounting a tactical mission there, but we are not going to do another tactical mission considering their length tonight, so would say that this is where we save save the game as as the usual usual battlescape slot slot here and then we can decide whether we would or oh actually whether we would like like to go for the crashed UFO mission mission next time so would say that we move move towards finishing for tonight as need to wake up early and cycle to work tomorrow so it would be pretty good time to finish and hopefully actually try to stream MTG even tomorrow if feeling up for that so thank you for all you all for joining the first first session session pretty good length also over one and a half hours of XCOM and hopefully you enjoyed there will be more XCOM as you voted for it and also very happy at the viewership because we actually got very good your viewership and also thank you your car too for the follow and you now have your Named soldier also in our good squad, so should be very good time with the uh, ten bravery priareos together. So going to wave and then see who we will raid. So let's see what raid targets we have in place and raid them. And very much enjoyed playing XCOM with you. There will be more as you asked for XCOM. And actually all XCOM games will be played in their proper order for at least a good, good try at each. We won't uh, probably finish any, but good, good go, go at each XCOM game. So a few sessions at least. And yes, do know that have been requested to play Stray, still need to buy it, so uh, that will be coming up in the medium term future. Alright, let's see who is playing what. Nero is again playing Mass Effect and it's been a while since we have been raiding, raiding them also. And pretty much do think that Cool K9 is only doing VR chat, not quite as interesting and what. Ah, uh, all right. Bramble is playing Pokemon. Also, let's go for Mass Effect. It's been a while since we have gone for the Husky Hub. Let's see if they are still playing first. Looks like it, yes, so let's go for, let's go for them. All right. 
right, thank you all for joining and see you hopefully tomorrow if have the mental capacity and awakeness for MTG. So we continue again with the old MTG game and of course continuing the normal schedule until end of the week, maybe with some extra streams because then we'll be leaving towards Euroference. So at least until Friday we will be doing streams. Thank you and see you hopefully tomorrow.